I'm not a medical expert. I do not have a PhD. I do not have a doctorate. I woke up, so that's all I'm thankful for. I, look, I don't know. I just survived it, that's all I know. So I'm at the VA in the parking garage, headed to get my COVID shot. The second shot of the Moderna. Here we go, y'all, here we go. Hey traders, it's me, Vicky of All Trades. Here we are, day number one on shot number two of the Moderna vaccine. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Subscribe, like, and share. If you're already a trader, welcome back. Like and share. Sharing is caring. Yeah, I'm in a different space. I'm not usually in my car. And um, I made it to the VA and I just wanted to do my intro before I started feeling sick. <laughs> And, you know, just get this part out of the way. And since I'm probably going to be on hiatus for the next four or five days, because I've already planned in my schedule to not work. I do not plan on driving. I don't plan on going to nobody's establishment. Um, I'm just going to stay myself in the house, take my Tylenol, eat my oodles and noodles, vegetables, drink my tea, and just try to keep down the symptoms of the second Moderna shot. Watch the video. Watch this video. It's good, it's good, it's good. Can you get can you get the vaccine if you have COVID? You got to wait after three months. Three months? Yes. Oh wow. I just took mine. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to convince my daughter to get it, and her doctors have been trying to tell her. She better take it. Why she be? Cause she young, 26. You know. Okay. Yeah. You know how they but, are. But you look. If I was saying my daughter 19 years, I'd be being her. You know that see age now. I never got it after mm. three months. I took mine April. Mm -hmm. May I took the last one, but I got sick like dog. Yeah. Going home, the car was shaking the day. I was shivering. Yeah. Um, they okay. driving on 85. Yeah. When I got home, my son brought two comforter for work, put it me, brought a small heater, put it closer to me, literally on the bed. Stay, I'm shivering. Mm -hmm. All Friday, I couldn't wake up from bed. When I found it, I had to wake up to go to the bathroom. You hear me? It's that walking on needles. Yeah. Oh, wow. It was tough. It was tough. Oh, wow. Have a blessed day, girlfriend. Thank Thanks for coming in. Okay, I'm just leaving the VA. I'm just leaving the VA, and of course, it wasn't anybody here today. Parking lot is halfway empty. The VA was empty today. It wasn't a lot of people in there at all. It wasn't anybody in the actual COVID um, facility that I went to. And I'm headed back to my car. Uh, oh, I got some good footage for day number one of shot number two Moderna. 
I was talking to the nurse and I asked her a lot of good questions and she gave me a lot of great answers. Like people out here actually catching COVID and we don't even know it. And guess what, it's spreading. It's still spreading. It's getting even worse now because now that they've relaxed the mask requirement, people are just out here all willy-nilly, not caring, the shots are not. They're not wearing masks and they're spreading. It's spreading the COVID-19. So Delta version of COVID is, is worse than the first strands because it has mutated. Here I am after the second shot of the Moderna. This is my day number one is July 17th. And I just finished getting my COVID shot. I felt that shot this time. It felt like a flu shot. It felt the, the little pinch or whatever. I don't know what was going on the first time with the first shot that I got. I didn't feel anything. I got it in my right arm the first time. And here on my second shot, I got it in my left arm because I, you know, I'm hearing things that people arm is swelling up and stuff like that. So I, I just wanted to use a less dominant arm. And of course, I'm going to keep working it to keep it from being like totally stiff and sore. I'm going to go home and take some Tylenol. I'm just going to help prevent the onset of fever and chills and all that. But from what this nurse is saying, ooh, it's some good info. I'll see y'all later. Okay, yeah, guys. It's 10.56 and nothing still. I don't feel anything. <laughs> okay, I felt the injection this time. I don't know why I didn't feel it on my right arm. I didn't feel it at all. I don't know. You know, I ain't feel nothing on the right arm, but I did feel it on the left arm. So the injection for the COVID, I felt it on my left arm. Like I felt the pinch, it, it felt like the usual thing that I feel when I get the flu shot. I finally found my head thermometer where you measure it from your forehead. Um, I've been looking for this thing forever. It's been in one of my plastic containers in my closet in the uh, bathroom. So it says low and let's see. Let's see what it says, 97.5. So that's my temperature, like that's my pretty much normal temperature. It's, in, it's usually 97 something. I won't check in every hour, but I will check in as things progress and change. But this is what, two hours after my initial uh, injection of the COVID. See, it hurts. It hurts, see, it hurts my arm. <laughs> so I got my Tylenol ready to go. Got my, I got it from the Dollar Tree. Got about maybe four packs of those. And it's uh, two pills each, 500 milligrams. I got my emergency ready to go. I got my, um, my bedside drinking station here with my water, two water bottles ready to go. I got my emergency here I'm about to take because I'm feeling a little dizzy. I was scrolling on Instagram, going down the rabbit hole. And I was like, let me um, get up and, you know, uh, start downloading my videos to my computer so I can start editing. Um, and I felt a little wibbly wobbly in the head. So I just decided to go ahead and get my emergency started. I made me some oodles and noodles with celery and spinach cauliflower and broccoli and a couple of seaweed chips. First meal since having the COVID shot. Arm is a little sore already. I was feeling some headaches earlier. Just having some chills um, off and on. Temperature has been adjusting to like, um, it was 98.2 the last time I took my temperature. And I think I started out about 97.6 or something like that. So I'm still okay. My arms still like sore a little bit, not majorly sore, not totally stiff yet. And just a feet and uh, chills. I don't know if I'm having fever. I don't think I'm having fever because I'm not sweating. So I'm assuming it's chills. So day number one, and it is 8.16 p.m.
I'll do another check-in a little later on this evening. So, it is... One fifty six. This thing is bright. Then I'm feeling feverish. Um, I'm hot. It's like I'm fighting with trying to record, and it's like I'm thinking I want to record, but then it's somebody else there saying, "No, I got it. I'm gonna record for you." <laughs> it was kind of crazy. Saw my temperature. Yeah. And 97.7, .7, which is the weirdest thing. But I don't know. I feel hot though. So my body just doing whatever. I'm not sweating or anything, but I feel hot and I can't really sleep. We got my neighbors over here. They've been outside since I don't know what time. And they're still out there and they're just talking. It's not really too bad or bothering me, but I keep just waking up out of my sleep. I took two Tylenol at about uh, 12 o'clock. So, we just see what happens. <laughs> Man. So now you want to be a character? When I've been asking you all these times, did you want to be a character? You get quiet when the camera comes on. You hungry or something? Eat, eat. Okay, well you got to wait. Stop talking in my video. Rude. Ew. Well, I survived the COVID vaccine day number one. With the help of Mays, he washed me, he took, he checked on me, he made sure I was okay. Yes, he did, he protected me all night. He stayed in my room instead of being in the room with Kiki. I know, I think he was in the hallway or something, I don't know, anyway. I didn't know what to expect, honestly. I laid down about one, 12. I laid down after 12 a.m. I uh, took another set of Tylenol, two 500 milligram pills. I had a cooling pack that I put on my arm. I think that helped. I think it helped. This is the arm I got my shot in. So I just had it laying on my arm. I don't know what I was experiencing because I was taking my temperature several times throughout the night so i don't know if i was having chills or if i had fever because when i took my temperature i believe it was like at 97 so i could feel my body was feeling hot but i couldn't you know the temperature wasn't reading as a fever or anything so i don't really know <laughs> what was going on it was some alter ego um trying to take charge um, I don't know, you know, like I said, I was trying to fight it. I was like, I want to, you know, do a video or I want to wake myself up or I want to this and that. And it was like, no, I got it. <laughs> that must've been that Corona. That was their Rona or <laughs> something. I don't know. They, it wouldn't let me, it wouldn't let me, uh, maybe I was sleep. Maybe I was lucid dreaming or something. I don't know. I, I have no clue. Look, I don't know. I just survived it. That's all I know. I don't know if I'm going to experience any more symptoms today and tonight. I just know that I'm thankful for watching those videos and hearing other people's experience and then watching the doctor videos explaining how to uh, relieve yourself of those issues. Taking the Tylenol later in the day when I started feeling chills again. I believe it helped because I did feel like I stopped having chills. And then I took another set of pills before I went to sleep. I woke up, so that's all I'm thankful for. Um, 
I, I don't know if I will have any more symptoms today. I just took two more Tylenol this morning here at, I'll say about 8.35. I took two more. I'm assuming it was a fever because I was hot. I can tell. You can tell. You can touch your skin and know what hot is, but the thermometer either didn't read it or I didn't check it at that time. I didn't check it when I felt my body. I was just, I was just trying to, you know, sleep, sleep through it. I basically slept through the hard stuff. So that's all I got for right now. I'll check back in a little later in the day if I start having any more symptoms. Hopefully, hopefully this is it. Hopefully this is it. Hopefully this is it. <laughs> Okay, so I got both of my thermometers. This is for the ear, and this one is for the forehead. 9.23 in the morning. I don't feel like I'm hot. Let's see what it says. This one says 97.3. So who lied to me? I'm tripping. I should've used this one last night. That's it, that is all. I just decided to come and look at my arm and take pictures. And look what I noticed. Don't that look like my arm is raised? Like the surface, that's where the band-aid was. And then there's the spot, the little bump. My arm's still a little sore. All of this here on my arm is it's, it's tender. Let me see, where is it? See, it, it don't look like it, it should be something I can feel, but this part of it back here, it feels like it's raised. And then right here in this section is sore. I'm gonna go get my ice pack. I'm gonna take another Tylenol. This will be my second set of Tylenol today. And I think I'm having some chills and or fever, but like I said, I don't feel hot. So I'm just kind of not sure what's going on. Right now it is, it's 8.56 and um, maybe I'll do another video later, but all the symptoms are mild. My arm soreness is mild. And whatever these chills or fever, it seems mild. I'll report tomorrow if there's any changes. That's all for right now. Day number three and it's all good. Like I mainly had two days of symptoms from the COVID shot. You know, the first day I had soreness in my arm. Oh, let me show you what the arm look like right now. It, it, I have another picture where I showed my arm and it looked like it had a raised section that was lighter. But I put my cold pack on it again last night or night number two. And I put it on night number one. I put the cold pack on to help with like pain, swelling or whatever. Um... Day number three, I feel fine. I feel great. I'm in good spirits again. I had uh, maybe chills or fever last night. And today I feel normal again. I feel regular. I don't sound like I have as much congestion. The soreness in my arm has, it, it's still a little sore. And it, it definitely isn't as sore as it was on shot number one. Shot number one, it was it got really sore and stiff. But this time around, not so much. And I don't know if it's because I took more Tylenol this time versus the last time. Definitely do the Tylenol. If nothing else, do the Tylenol, do the Tylenol, do the Tylenol. Take your Tylenol. I mean, I feel fine. Like, nothing. That's it. I mean, it, it, it's over. Three days of symptoms on the second shot of Moderna. And not even really three, really two. Because today I feel fine. And this will be the last video. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you gained some insight or some knowledge. I'm not a medical expert. I do not have a PhD. I do not have a doctorate. This was my experience and my symptoms from receiving the Moderna COVID vaccine June and July of 2021. Like, subscribe, and share. Share, 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 share. See you later, traders.